Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thank you so much for joining me today. Do you know what? I was just surging up a set of sleepwear for myself. This cute little t-shirt and I'm just about to trim the neck in a v-neck. And so I thought I might as well show you how to make a v-neck in a few different ways. I'm, I know which way I like best, but I'll show you maybe three, maybe four, maybe five different ways of constructing that little v-neck in a nice, neat, and pro-looking way. I have a video on knocking off your pajamas, like copying a simple t-shirt and pants and making your own sleep set. And so I'll link that video here. And that's the same pattern that I'm using, like that was probably two years ago. It's really fast to make once you make your pattern. And so today, that's all I'm going to do is show you how to do that nice v-neck. So if that sounds good to you, let's get busy. So this is my v-neck t-shirt inside out. I've got a little notch at the center back. And then I've got my strip that's going to make the v-neck. I had to make a join in mine. My piece wasn't quite wide enough. You have to cut this going across the knit, right? We need the stretch going the correct way. So. You can see the little lines of the knit going this way. You have to cut it going across the knit. Now, if you're doing an up cycle, sometimes you can just cut off the hem of your t-shirt. If it's too long, you can cut off the hem and use that as your v-neck trim. That can work really, really well. But if you're making from scratch, then you just cut a strip across the width of the knit. So I had to make a join in mine, but you might not have to. Before we even assemble that V, I need to find out exactly where that V is going to land on the strip. So I'm going to start pinning from that center back. And the strip, the neck band, needs to stretch just a little bit. Just so that it hugs the neck nicely. Just a tiny bit of a stretch. And I'm just going to pin around. You'll see I've got that little stripe there. That's just because... My fabric wasn't quite big enough to accommodate this t-shirt. So I just added in a little bit of a strip and then pretended that I meant to do that. So you see, I'm just stretching like such a slight amount. And that's important around the curvy part of the neck. Once you're into the straight area, the stretch isn't so important because it'll lay flat along the straight part anyway. All right. So I'm getting down close to where the V is on both sides. The strip is two inches wide and it's extra long. So with it pinned right side together to within a couple inches of the V on both sides, and now I'll take it to the serger and serge my edges together. Now, if you don't have a serger, no problem at all. You would just sew at about the edge of your presser foot all the way around. And then the knit is not going to fray, but just to keep things neat, you might want to zigzag those edges as well. So I'll just hop on, make my way around, and then hop off. So it's nicely surged on. The V is looking good. And now I just need to assemble that point. And so I'll show you a nice, easy way first. So all I'm doing here is neatly overlapping the edges. Take a minute to make that overlap look good. That is it. Okay, looking beautiful there. And this overlap, I think, is the simplest way. So once that overlap looks good, you're just going to pin that where you want it to overlap. This is still all open here. And we don't even sew this. All we sew is this little edge right here. We just sew around that little corner there and just at the regular machine. We just sew that little section and then cut off the extra. And that is how that V is assembled. Just sewing on those edges cut off the extra. Once the V is assembled, however, whatever method we use, we're going to be putting it together in the same way. We'll do that final area in the exact same way, no matter how we put this together. So that's the first way. I'm not going to sew that, but I think you get the idea. You would just sew close to that edge and then cut off your extra. Your V is then ready to get put into the t-shirt, okay? 
So that is method number one, nice and simple. In fact, that little overlap is exactly how I did the V-neck on that original pajama video, right? And, and I've been wearing this like for two years and that little overlap just sits nice, it's fine. On the inside, you'll see that I end up surging around the V. So the inside is fine, the outside is fine. And that is nice and easy. So that's one way with just the overlap. And now to show you another way, I'm going to pin these. I'll just stick a pin vertically at that V. Just going from where it crosses at the top to where it crosses at the bottom. Okay, and I wanna duplicate that pin on the inside band as well. Good, so they're both pinned in the line that goes right from where they cross at the top to where they cross at the bottom. So then this top pin can come out and just stay in its own layer. And then double checking that I have not shifted anything. Good, okay. So now I can just take those two pins. They're both marking where that V should be. And if they're not exactly on the same angle, I will split the difference. I'll just go right in between where they are, take out those two pins, and then just sew here. Check it. So that seems to be sitting well, looking good. So then how to deal with those inside edges. They just double back on themselves, that's all. They just fold back after I've sewn here they would just open back out onto themselves. That just opens back out. So you would be sewing that edge, cut off the extra, and that's how you assemble your V. Good, okay. So if you're doing an upcycle uh, and you're using the band that you cut off the hem, you can do either one of those examples that I've just shown, right? This could be stitched closed for the hem. You can still get in, make your V, double your edges back, sew the edge, cut off the extra, and your V is assembled. Good? Okay. Now, before I do the final way, I just wanna show you one other way. And this would be if your band is sort of one continuous loop that's just the right size. There's not that many occasions where you're going to need this other way. So let's say if this is one continuous band, you would just form your V by sewing on that angle. You'd find where it sits in nicely, and you'd sew that little dart. It's just a little dart. You'd assemble your V that way. So this would be one continuous loop and you'd sew your little dart and that's how you assemble your V. Good. And you'll often see that on t-shirts and sometimes that V is sort of pressed open like that and it's fine. It is a little bit bulky in that corner there, but it is okay. So that would be if it's one continuous loop. Now, since I'm making this from scratch, I can open this up and I can sew that seam on the inside. So I wanna show you that. I'm still gonna use that pin because that is working. Instead of just sewing there, I'm actually gonna trim off my extra first. So I'm gonna cut seam allowance away from my pin, cut off my extra, and I think I'll make a little notch just to indicate how big of a seam allowance I'm using. And then I'm going to remove that pin. I'm going to keep my edges together, right sides together. So I'm pinching just my two middle layers and open those out. And now I can see where I need to sew. It's a little bit fiddly down and back up. So yeah, you can see this method is the most fiddly. Well, they're all a little bit fiddly, aren't they? Like, I'm not gonna lie. Making a V-neck, you have to do all that little fussing and checking. So I'll sew down and back up. So almost everything on this T-shirt I did on the serger. And the serger just handles the knit fabric so nicely. But this little V that I'll sew here, I have to do on the regular machine. So I do wanna make sure I've got a ballpoint needle in there. Otherwise, sometimes it can tear holes in your knit. So with a ballpoint needle, I'm just gonna sew down and back up. If I can get my stripes to match, that would make me happy. The 
stripe makes it easier because I could see exactly where to pivot just according to the stripe. Okay, so just like that in that V shape. And then that opens out to be the perfect little V. Good. There'll be seam allowance sticking out here. So I can trim off the little funny corners of the seam allowance that stick out. Good. The other thing I want to clip is the V itself on the t-shirt. Now I'm going to be surging so I know my seam allowance is going to be small. It'll come down like that. And so I want to snip into the V no bigger than my seam allowance. That little clip has to be able to spread out around the V. So with that little clip, I can now open that out and bring my edges together. That's how the V gets assembled, no matter which way you construct the band. Any of those four methods work just fine. Final step is the same for any of them. So now I'll be sewing down. I'll aim to sew right to that little spot right there, like where my little clip opens out, pivot, and then come back to meet my sewing line here. So I'm just sewing in line with my serging, and I'm aiming straight for the end of my notch. I know I'll be serging this edge after, so I can use a long basting stitch just in case it takes me a couple of tries. Good. At the notch, I just lift up and pivot. And before I take that to the serger, I'll just check the outside. There we go. That's pretty good, pretty good. Now I can just serge the rest of that point. I'll overlap where my serging was before. Come to that V, let my needles clear, and then pivot around the V. Okay, so it's surged around the V and looks decent from the outside. And now, one last thing you can do if you want is a little edge stitch along the t-shirt side to keep that seam allowance going down. If this was not for sleepwear, I would definitely do that. But since this is just my pajamas, I think I will leave that as is. And I'll just give that a final press. Looking kind of sweet. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so the v-neck is all done. In fact, my whole sleep set is all done. I'm super happy with it. It's really cozy and I am now ready for bed. <laughs> just keep in mind that no matter how you assemble the band, the final step is the same. You just make your little snip and then sew around that point. Whichever method you want to use of assembling the band is totally up to you. So I hope you found that helpful. I hope you make your own v-neck t-shirts and until next time on Catherine Sews, you take care. <laughs>